India is talking sports. And for the first time, sports is not cricket in our conversations. Hello, hi, and welcome to Meaningful Mondays with me, Rashmi Shetty, a space where I share my life lessons. And today's is from an amazing sports person. But before we get there, the sporting event that everyone's talking about, Tokyo Olympics 2020. Happening in 2021, there are a lot of lessons that this Olympics is teaching us and hopes that it's giving us. After a very difficult second wave of the pandemic, these are the moments that the country is celebrating together. And what I am thrilled about are that we are celebrating the women who are bringing glory. Whether it's the hockey team that has made it to the semi-finals, Bhavani Devi for introducing us to a game we don't even speak about, fencing, or Meera Bai for her lovely earring and her silver medal. But the lady for me who remains very special is P.V. Sindhu. I've always admired the way she handled herself on court and off court. The way she would answer questions very gracefully and not being arrogant or irritated even if it's a stupid question that's put forth to her. I still remember the match where she played against the Spaniard Martinez where after winning the match, Martinez just threw her racket and went on to celebrate with her team around. And Sindhu gracefully walked up, picked that racket and kept it on her back. At that moment, she won my heart for being an amazing sports person, who in defeat also was absolutely detached. For me, any sports person or anyone doing a job, if they adopt this attitude of detached attachment, they will definitely do well. And Sindhu has shown us how. If you notice even her match yesterday, it took her a while for the victory to sink in and then she went down on her knees to celebrate because that match was so important to her. And coming back after a defeat was something that sports persons who are isolated at the top, only can understand. That's why a beautiful letter that Abhinav Bindra had written to her, which he shared on social media, said the same. That I know it's isolating at the top and congratulations for doing so well. For somebody who started his journey of not doing too well in Athens and then moving on to Beijing, not checking the scoreboard at all, but just shooting with his target only in mind and not the end result. And not even knowing that he had won the gold medal till his coach came and hugged him. Abhinav Bindra knows that journey. Sindhu is someone who is extremely inspirational to a lot of young girls in badminton. She stands there as hope for India, as somebody everyone loves to be one day, at least in their journey in badminton. There is a picture that was doing the rounds yesterday of Sindhu sitting on the lap of P.T. Usha. Usha was Sindhu's dad's colleague at the railways and this is when she visited their home in Hyderabad. Sindhu was a little girl and that picture has come a full circle. Because the lady whose lap she's sitting on missed the bronze by a whisker, one hundredth of a second. And the little girl went on to rewrite Olympic history in the country by becoming the first woman to win in two consecutive Olympics. What an amazing feat. And to be so detached. In fact, in her interview post the competition, she says that it was difficult for me because I had lost the silver and my chance of gold and I didn't know whether I would be my best self but all I told myself was just go there and give your best. 
I just had to make sure I'm a couple of points ahead because that would keep me high. So forgetting a defeat that happened the previous evening, to step on to the court, completely de- devoid of any emotion to that, to play a match to the best of her capacity, takes a lot of meditation. It's not easy to be there. And Sindhu proved us why she is somebody even her opponents admire. Today, when the silver medalist shared how Sindhu went up to her, congratulated her and comforted her, saying, I know you are not well and still you managed to play your best. Congratulations. She said, I hugged her and I cried. And for me, it's the human element that sports brings out in people that makes them more evolved human beings. And sports definitely helps us evolve in our journey of living. So Sindhu's Olympic moment for me is a metaphor of those moments in life where something that we do is so crucial and important to us that letting go of the emotion attached to it is tough. But we have to do it. Have you had some such Olympic moment where you had to fight your inner critic and emerge victorious? Do share. I'd love to know. Have a meaningful, purposeful week ahead. Stay safe. Stay blessed.